a non-profit organization, Casa Dillon Education, home to India Africa, committed to carrying out value education, opened its doors in Umkumas. The center will operate as a base to support initiatives and programs that develop early education and enhance the health and well-being of children and the vulnerable in communities. Its mission is to engage stakeholders and educate children by providing support, learning programs and training for early educators working with poor and vulnerable children and empowering educators, parents, families and the community through workshops and projects. Funded by the Dillon Trust and implemented by Indue Africa, a non-profit organization run by Iris Canham, the partnership was formed by Irish tourists Gemma and Eddie Dillon when they visited creches in KZN. Gemma Dillon said instead of supporting small projects, they decided to open a center where Iris could work with children from rural areas. They started the Dillon Trust and were joined by Philomena Chauvelin. For phase one of the education program, Casa Dillon Education has focused on St. Mary's Daycare, which is run by the centre with a focus on the first thousand days. Hello, I'm Iris Cannon from Casa Dillon Education, committed to equal opportunities for all children. Indue Africa is actually the non-profit organisation that has been commissioned to carry out the uh, activities of Casa Dillon. We started out as a project in uh, 2015, doing uh, community projects in and around Amanzintoti, but now we finally have found our home where we are supporting eight community creches or ECD centers in the rural areas around us. We support them through curriculum and we also enhance the environment of young children because we believe that it is important to create a conducive um, environment for all children to learn. Here in Umkamaz, we have various programs that will be committed to enhancing education from a very young age, which is uh, four months, up to about 10 years through various activities. On site, we have our um, St. Mary's uh, ECD, which is actually committed to the early days, the first 1,000 days. We thank you so much for your support, and please contact us should you wish to know more. This news broadcast was brought to you by the Mid-South Coast Rising Sun Digital Team.